What's up guys and welcome back to Total War Attila where um, yes last week there was uh, well last week was the first week of this um, potential se well, it is a series now it's two episodes so it's two episodes to denote a series um, yes we took this place from Great Dan who is still around somewhere um, possibly they might be I'm not just double check that are the Dans still around oh, it looks like they might have disappeared um, yeah, it looks like the Dans have finally been wiped, unless they've somehow disappeared. But no, we should we should know about them. Um, yeah, so it looks like the Dans, who had this place, are gone. The Jutes, who we also attack, this is all that's left of them, is there's a, a ship floating around with some of their men on it. Um, and they had this place, and we took that as well. So, in one week, we've uh, taken all of Scansia. Uh, or sorry, Scan Scansa, um, which includes Herif and Salt, uh, Alibu, and Hafen, probably the way you pronounce all of those. Uh, so, yes, now we need to work out who we're going to attack next. But I think our first thing we're going to do, as you can probably see by the amount of smoke that's coming off of this one, and this one, and this one, there's a little bit of civil unrest going on around the world. So, I think it's probably going to be an episode of end turning. Um, so, immediately, I think I'm going to do that. I don't think we have any money to spend. Where do I normally see? Where do I see my oh, it's up here for some reason? Uh, 1800. Okay, we could probably do something. I think we're repairing this. Yeah, we are repairing. I think we're repairing everything and building a lot. Um, we can increase these. Alright, you know what? We'll end turn. Uh, apparently we won't end turn because bloody Algut needs a skill. Alright, you can have a wolf. There you go. Right, end turn. I was thinking I might go and start doing what the uh, the Vikings were well known for and actually go and start raiding some places. So, uh, Maybe build up a big fleet or a big like army and send them over to uh, to England to go and raid the bastards. Although it is, it's not really the English as much as it is the Romans, and I don't think we're particularly liked by the Romans. We're not at war with them, but we're not liked by them either. So you know, could be an option, but it is a pretty big enemy to have. So maybe it's not a great. Idea. Maybe we should go and take the top of Scotland. Maybe that's the next place we could go for. Although, actually, having said that, I'm pretty sure I got given a mission to go and take out the um, the Saxons, maybe? I can't remember if it was the Saxons. I got a mission to go and take out somebody, or at least be at war with them, so we can uh, double-check that. Right, let's get big Sigurd Sig uh, back into Hafen. Um, hopefully that'll increase the public order. Ah, oh, it's just going up 13 next turn, that's fine. Right, okay. Uh, so that's us pretty much seen out the worst of it. So a couple more turns and hopefully our public order will be back into a semi-decent location. Uh, we recruited some places. We've uh, upgraded ha uh, Hafen to a village. Um, and that's about all there is for that, I think. Uh, right. So. Let's have a look. What was I going to do? What was I going to do? My mind's gone completely blank. I was going to do something. I was literally just talking about it. What was I going to do? Oh yes, missions, that's what it was. Alright, where do I see my missions? Start migration? We could just, like, get everybody to, like, up their up their things and just disappear. We could just take... We could just go all the way down to, like... Let's, we could just go down to the... Oh, this is not the right way to be gone. Here we are. We're so, somewhere down here, amongst all of these clouds, is, like... And that's uh, Sardinia, I think. Sicily is here. We could just like clear off to the Med, go and live the rest of our lives in, in blissful sunshine. But uh, no, nah. we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick to the north. We are Northmen. We uh, we we strive amongst the snow and the ice and the despair and the destitute, bloody depression that goes on up here. Again, forgotten what I was doing. What was I doing? Um, why do I keep forgetting? <laughs> I was literally just about to do it. And I've completely forgotten, again, what it was we were, I was supposed to be doing. I got sidetracked on bloody migration. Um, ah, yes, missions. Mission. <laughs> oh, right, okay. How, where the bloody hell are missions? Why is it on every Total War game do they have to change everything so it's in a different bloody location? Well, not in there. Objectives? Active missions, here we go. Yes, be at war with the Saxons. We have seven more turns to do that. Where are the good old Saxinios? Um, well, the, the the Dans have started. Oh wait, the Dans are back. All right, so the Jutes are down here. The Dans are up here. Um, surely they can't have many people left. Uh, Saxons here. They're also on the move apparently. 
so it appears if they have been dislodged from their home and are now uh, um, a roaming, not a roaming, a roaming uh, um, faction, I guess. Let's just declare war on them, shall we? Oh, did we get? Did they get? Did they join? Oh, the bloody Angels joined them, or Angels, or whatever they're called. Where are you? There. Okay, fair enough. Well, they are neighbours to us, so we could go and uh, start attacking them as well. There we go. Got ourselves a thousand coins. Wonderful. Okay, so these guys are our new enemies, which is nice. Um, so I think I'm still going to continue just kind of like repairing stuff up here. And then uh, once I've got all that repaired, then I'll have a look at trying to uh, go and take them. And what happened to that army? Where did it go? Oh, here it is. It's on the ship, apparently. I don't want to be on the ship. Get off the ship. Right. So, these guys are all replenishing. Everybody else should be replenishing. The uh, public order is starting to get a little bit better. We do have decent money, so let's uh, continue. We are upgrading Heffen... Heffen shot. Oh, no, that's not right. Herifin's Holt uh, up to a, what was that? A small city, so that should be good. Um, most things that are being built, or could, can be built, are being built. We could upgrade this little jetty into a, let's do let's do a trade trade uh, trade jetty so that we can get some more trading on the go. Because we already, we only have this one place where I can trade. This place, it would be nice if this place could trade as well. I don't know if that will give us anything more, but we should, uh, yeah, hopefully be able to get a little bit extra trade out of it. Uh, speaking of trade, let's see if we can find anybody. Apparently the uh, the Burgundians um, can be traded with. So let's see if we can get a trade deal with these guys. Cool, right, well that's just got a trade deal with them. So that should help our income a little bit. The Romans we can trade with, but they do seem to be pretty dead set on being annoying to us. Um, so that's not really kind of what I was looking for. I was hoping for a trade agreement and the Romans decided, no, we won't do trading with you, but we'll give you a non-aggression pact and actually pay you a thousand coins. So I'm going to accept that because it gets us a thousand coins. <laughs> um, and I'm going to now try and get a trade deal with them again. Apparently they just don't want to trade with us. They have everything they could possibly need to trade with as well. It would be great if we could trade with them. Um, right, how about a trade agreement and I'll pay you a thousand coins for the privilege? Apparently they don't want that. I was just going to give them their thousand coins back that they just gave me, but apparently they're just dead set on not uh, not trading with us, apparently. I wonder if it's because we're like, our, our strength rank is like basically nothing compared to them. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's got us another trade deal, so that should hopefully give us a little bit extra money. We're making 2,600 a turn, which is not bad. I don't need to go in there. I can see it there. Um, so yes, that's it done for this turn, I think. And then we'll see what happens. And we'll, it'll, it'll be interesting to see if those guys that we ended up at war with decide to attack us or not. Um, we are right next to them, so we would be at um, a, a potential for attack. All right, apparently we've got a mission to build an industry building and it, they're gonna give us a thousand coins to do that. So that's not bad. Um, right, what's going on down here? I think they might have just been building something. There was a bit of smoke going on over here, but it looks like, well, their public order is perfect, so it looks like they were just uh, in the process of doing some construction. We need to start doing another uh, technology, because we've already, we just researched community property, which allows us to build some goat pens, so that's all good. Um, I think I'm going to try and fill out this military one here, because then it gives us a minus five percent recruitment costs on all forces if we get all all four of these so i think that's probably worth it so let's build this one it gives us a smithy what the hell is this bloody settlement it's the size of the caring gorms what's going on here bloody tuesis is this a real place hang on apparently it was a real place however i'm not very sure it would be that size. And why would you build it right in the middle of the Cairn Garms? Should you not put it on the coast? Anyway, we might go for that at some point. That's going to be a hard one to take. But um, this one looks like it could be takeable. And there's also this bloody place. The Romans built. Ebo Car... Ebo... Ebo Rackham. What is that? <laughs> I feel like this has got to be a real place that's still all around. York? Why did it change its name from Ebo Rackham to York? Like, when did that happen, anyway? Uh, Lindum. 
Camlodonium. Alright, fair enough. I guess this is London down here, probably. Yeah. Interesting. Alright, well, we might go that direction at some point in the future. But anyway, back to where we were. These guys are going to be our next targets, but I think we still need to just... Well, plus 20 public order in the next turn, so that'll give us minus 1, so that shouldn't be too bad. So we'll end turn now. Yeah, you told me about... Oh wait, apparently we passed that mission. Okay, that took us one turn. Well, that's just got another thousand coins. What's this? Power receptacle. Respectable. <laughs> this lad is trying to take over somewhere without our permission. So Big Geezer here has the option to either block the promotion, in which case he loses 20 influence, somehow, uh, or he does nothing, in which case he loses 4 control, but and this guy gets appointed as companion. Right, I'm going to block it. Just, why not? Warhound? Well, we're getting some of them. Hurlers, skirmishers, Nordic band, we already know these guys are crap. Some hurlers. Because you know everybody loves a good lad that hurls all the time. Um, yes, what I'm worried about is these bastards have turned up on the case and look like they're going for these guys. So unless they're just kind of positioning themselves here for the time being and then going to continue on. Um, but I'm not sure what they're up to. Oh, apparently these guys are actually paying the guys in the boat. So, yeah, maybe they were at war w w at one point, but they're now paying them money. But these guys only have, like, six units, so it's, um, yeah, it could be relatively takeable. Right, let's build this thing, because it allows us to build some Nordic bows and an Onger. Uh, basically a big trebuchet thing, which would be quite useful against uh, places like this, where they have walls. So, um, yeah, that would be relatively useful. Um, yeah, okay. Right, let's end turn. Apparently not, because bloody Geezer has a skill now. Public order's going to be great. It's going to be 16 after this turn. Wonderful. Good lord, what are you up to? So I believe those are the... the Jutes? That own that Alibo place? That they seem to be going back to try and get off of us? Um, Nice, okay. They do also appear to have a full-sized army. So we're gonna have to deal with that. And now these guys- oh my word. Where did they just come from? Well, this has really taken a turn, hasn't it? Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be spending all of our money on, fa on like, building up our uh, armies now. Um, we do have this army, which is pretty much fully replenished. It's pretty sizable, but it's not great. Meanwhile, they have this army. And then these guys have got this army as well. Good lord. Right, okay. Uh, diplomacy? All right, okay. So we're no longer at war with the Anghels, so uh, we don't have to worry about them. What's going on over here? What's this? The Caledonians have managed to secure this place. Oh, they've secured this place, have they? Good lord. The Romans have really taken a beating over here. So the Jutes have managed to take this place. The Romans have only got this place now. Because uh, the Caledonians have taken the bit further south from them. So that's, uh, yeah, that's got a little spy over here. What's going on? Right. So the Romans still have York, which is currently being sieged. Probably by the Caledonians. Meanwhile, the Caledonians have managed to secure Lindum, and then the Jutes have managed to sec secure uh, Camelodium. Camelodinium. Um, so yeah, the Romans have been completely, or almost completely, kicked out of the UK, which is interesting. Anyway, we have this bastard army to deal with, so by the time they get here, we should have these units. Uh, okay, we're also going to recruit some mercenaries here. Okay, let's get these guys, because we could do with some cavalry. Right, so that's spent a load of money. Um, but that's given us a whole bunch more unit. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to spend all my money on these guys. Okay. So, that's us, that's us built that army as big as we can get to it. I would imagine a lot of these are uh, mercenary units. Because these guys went away across down here. Uh, and have been... Or sorry, no. They were down here. Are they, no, they're the Jutes, aren't they? Do you want know actually... Yeah. The, oh, no. These are the Dans. Okay. So, these guys went away down here. And they've obviously been roaming around this area, just like... Good lord, that place is sizable. Uh, yeah, they've obviously been roaming around here, just like, sort of raiding places and getting money. And now have managed to recruit mercenaries to a full-sized army and are coming to get us. Right, here they come. Well, they have 2,196 men. Uh, sorry, 69 men. Uh, we have 1,320, plus a re reinforcing 347, so about... 
1,700. It is showing us about a 50-50 battle. I'm going to all resolve in a protective stance and see what happens. Oh, good lord, he, he's beaten us. Okay, uh, well, that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have fought it myself. So they killed all 1,600 of us, and we only killed 702 of them. Which is not great. Not great at all. So we've now lost that place again. And they've gone and like bloody well raised it or whatever. Or looted it. Or, and now they're clearing off. Well that was quite something to behold. don't think I've ever seen that happen in a game before. But yeah. Interesting. Okay. So all the trees have burnt down. Alright, so now the Romans have decided that yes, we will have a trade agreement with you and we're also going to pay you 2,000 coins for the privilege. Um, Alright, I feel like the Romans are just giving us money at this stage. I would have just had the trade agreement, but they're, they felt that they wanted to give us 2,000 coins as well. F fine, fine, alright, I'll take it, I'm not going to complain. That city has been completely destroyed. Does that mean if we go back there, if we take that back, we have to then build it from the ground up again? Yeah, I'm not sure how best to deal with these guys now. Should we try and just get a peace agreement with them? Because they're clearly pretty badass now that they've got all these mercenaries. Alright, we've got a peace treaty with them. Um, we did just give them all the money the Romans gave us. I'm going to send this over here. Oh, why are you going all that way, you fucking nuppet? Right, anyway. So, uh, Big Geezer has decided to... Um, like, go... Oh, wait, it's Ring. Okay, different guy. Geezer's, Geezer's in the city, not actually controlling the army. Anyway, uh, yes, he's decided, rather than just sailing across here, to go all the way around this direction. So, why well, fine. If you must. Uh, our food is currently absolutely done, because um, this place apparently was producing tons of our food, and now we're no longer producing any. Um, so we're going to have to deal something... Do something about that. So this one allows us to build... Nordic mounted right, uh, raiders. So we get horsemen, like cavalry, which would be quite nice. Whereas this one gives us Nordic skirmishers, but produces a lot more food. Whereas this one only produces 20, this one produces 40. Let's build the goat herd. We need the food right now, so we'll build that. Alright, so I think I'm just going to end turn again. Apparently not. Right, so we have a bit of a food issue going on at the moment, but uh, hopefully that'll be sorted in... Three turns to no wait, two turns time. Anyway, let's keep this army going. I want to get them over to uh, over to here, so we can see if we can rebuild that city and take it back again. Uh, meanwhile, these guys have set up town. Have they just built a settlement called the Embers? They've just kind of settled there for a the time being. It's like a little camp that they've got going on. All right, fair enough. I have an exclamation mark. What's the issue? Apparently there's subjects that require my attention. What's that? Wait, is this guy not my heir? Why is this guy the heir? Godass. I mean, he's got the name of a, of a king, I suppose, but... Why is Hydric not the heir, given that... Well, maybe, maybe it is, because he's an older brother, so then he would be the heir, I suppose. But he is the king now, so we could make him the heir. Oh. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to end turn again, to be honest. There's not really much to do right now. We're just going to try and get to that city and uh, see if we can secure it. Take it back, rebuild it. All the trees have at least grown back now after they were rudely set on fire by the Dans. The Burgundians have uh, decided they want a non-aggression pack. I mean, fair enough. Why not? They are offering us money for it. So, yeah, we'll take that. All right, so let's get this guy up to here. Why can we not colonize it? Oh, it's going to cost us 7,500 coins, apparently. Okay, don't do anything then. Right, one more turn, and then we'll be able to do that. Um, meanwhile, these guys are going... Oh, look, these guys have settled right next to them. Very friendly. Very, very friendly. Uh, so, these guys did have... Like, when we declared war on them, they had what would appear to have been one army with, like, absolutely no units in it, like four units. And since we've declared war on them, this army has been built up from basically nothing, and they came along with this one. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, anyway, we're going to uh, ignore them for the time being. We're no longer at war with them, so it's nothing to worry about. Uh, our food shortages are still pretty bad. However, this place is one turn away from being done. We'll have some goats after that, and we should be able to um, 
foresee or see off some of our food shortage issues. And then once we rebuild this place, we should be back in a good position. So we'll end turn again and get that done. Right, so our armies are losing men hand over fist because we're, we've are we got no food, so they're dying. However, our food shortages have now been sorted. We do have 27 food, uh, so that should be fine. Um, so we can hopefully now build this. Yep, colonize the city. So that's just got this desolate land and colonized it. So we can now build some stuff. So we have some ruins. So we can build a torp, but we don't have enough money for it. Uh, so yes, we're going to have to end turn again before we can start doing that. Uh, right, so we do have this now, so we now have an, an extra uh, or 5% reduction in recruitment cost, which is nice. I also have a mission to research local traditions, was it? I think it was local traditions. Yeah, research local traditions, so that's getting done, so that's three turns to get that done. We also have a a, a, a mission to just raise an army. We're going to recruit this boy just because he's got a massive beer musta beard and moustache combo. Um, he is 23. We could get this 19-year-old, apparently. Um, he is 23. He's pretty in he's pretty influential. Actually, no, he's got absolutely no influence compared to everybody else. <laughs> apparently, this 19-year-old has, like, like four times as much influence as this guy. This guy's a taskmaster. This guy is good in a fight, but he's also apparently heartbroken. Actually, I'm going to report this guy. Seems like a bit better. So that's that done. I've just realized that this godass character here, who's apparently our heir, is a... Uh, yeah, he's part of the Ruginians uh, faction. He's not even part of our faction. So effectively, when this guy dies, we'll be getting taken over by a guy from a different faction, which is, uh, I feel like is wrong. So you, son, what's your name? Hydric. You're about to become our, uh, our heir. Apparently I can't do that. How? There was an option before to do that. Can assassinate him. Can also seek my wife, so we're gonna do that. We can't actually make this guy our heir for some reason. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, I don't know what this, like, thing is. Some subjects that require our attention, but it doesn't tell us what, so great. Okay, end turn. And, uh, we should have enough to rebuild Alibu. Bloody Hydric! He's failed to find a bride! Like, mate, how hard is it? Let's build our tarp. Um, so that's Alibu getting rebuilt. Uh, public order is absolutely fine, apparently, despite the fact that this entire region got set on fire. Um, apparently nobody cares about it. In fact, public order is going up. So, you know, win. Uh, right, so that is us building, rebuilding the city of Alibu. Um, meanwhile, we have our two armies positioned down here. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to build up this army um, a little bit more. I'm going to send them down to the set of trees here. And I'm going to make them... Uh, sit in like ambush state so that uh, we can then pop out if anybody decides to come along and attack us so you know could be a useful thing we are I think our only enemies at the moment are these guys the Jutes right, is that our only enemies? it is our only enemies um, so we could potentially go and try and take this place at some point given we're already at war with them it would be quite easy hopefully uh, well it makes it we don't have to uh, declare war on anybody to go and do it. But we can also try and get some new trade agreements here. So let's see if we can do that. Alright, that's one done. Easy. How about these guys? Gods of the afterlife, spare my arse. Well, why do you trouble my digestion today? Excuse me? What the? What does that even mean? Gods of the afterlife, spare my arse. What are, you, what are they going to be doing to you? That is some... Dark, dark gods that you have, my friends. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, we can get a trade agreement. I'm not sure what a trade agreement with this guy anymore, to be honest. Um, yeah, so apparently our success is very low here. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're not really interested in getting a trade agreement. Um, there's not really much else. I can, you know what? I don't really want a trade agreement with you after that statement. Yes, so that's everyone we're trading with. Uh, we can be trading with. So what does that do to our finance? 3,280 per turn. Nice. And our tax level's not too high either. So, um, yes. All's good in the world. Um, well, apart from this place that got burnt down horrifically. But apart from that, everything's perfect. So I think I'm going to end the episode there. We are... Uh, yes. I think we, uh, we're slightly in a worse position than we were when we started this episode. But we don't have as many enemies anymore. So that is probably an advantage. Um, but it has resulted 
in Alibu being completely burnt to the ground. Um, but yeah, we're rebuilding it. So when it gets rebuilt, we'll be all good. Um, and I think once we do that, then we'll be able to go and find new places to take. Um, but our public order is uh, looking good. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, once we get this place rebuilt, we'll be all hunky-dory to go and start taking on other locations. So yeah, it has been a pretty boring episode. It's just been a ending turn and watching this place get absolutely ravaged. So yeah, it's not been the best. Also, I did notice as well, because we have a trade agreement with, with Rome now, we have this really funky path that goes all the way around Spain and up here that the fog of war isn't uh, visible. So um, yes. Apparently we're trading with Genoa, um, but it's it's resulted in this huge trade uh, route being revealed to us. Uh, oh, the Romans have this. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to end the episode. So if you've enjoyed it, then uh, leave a leave a like and subscribe as well if you're new around here, and ding that bell as well because apparently if you don't do that, um, somebody doesn't see the episode. I don't know. The, so, for some reason, YouTube has decided that subscribing to a channel is not enough for you to actually be able to see the channel. Actually, no, I don't think it's true. I I think you just get notified. But, um, yeah. Anyway, um, apparently if you ding the bell, it's a good thing. So if you could do that, that'd be nice. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next week. So until then, cheerio. Cheerio.